Hello, good morning, and welcome to the Morning Prayer Cast. This is Father Wade. This is the day the Lord has made. Thanks for watching the replay. Hello, guys, if you're just joining me, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So thankful to have you here with me this morning. Uh, it's an awesome day. <laughs> I always say that, whether it is or not, and whether it starts out that way. I just believe that uh, the way that we set ourselves up in the morning and our expectations is a good possibility that that will continue. And uh, uh, that's the way that I want it to be. I want it to be an awesome day. I want it to be a blessed day because I do realize by faith that this is the day the Lord has made. And so that's how why I always say that. That makes sense. Oh, glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. So if you're just joining in, say hello. Let us know where you're viewing from. We're broadcasting live on Facebook, you now, YouTube, so forth. <laughs> and um, it is Sunday. Morning prayers. Let's see if we can get going here. I think I can turn on this uh, shift the screen here. Oh, there we go. Isn't that interesting how that works? Wow. I love it. I love it. Make sure that we're broadcasting good there. Yes, we are. Okay. All right. Well, let's get rolling here. I've got the bell ready to ring and um, 630. Uh, and I'm ready to go. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. All right. Where is that bell? Here it is. little action there. You know what? My camera's a little cattywamper. I'm going to I'm going to decattywamper my camera. There we go. All right, sorry about that. Just uh, we'll try that again. <laughs> I um, had to adjust that microphone. The uh, I I got a hum last time that I detected for my ears, and I didn't really appreciate that hum. Oh, there was too much rattle and hum. So I wanted to um, um. Make sure that we're broadcasting good there. Let's try that again, okay? The bell. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Hello, good morning. This is Father Wade. I'd like to welcome you to morning prayers. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning. Welcome to the live prayer cast. This is Sunday morning prayers with Father Wade broadcast live from the St. Andrew Rectory here in Lakeland, Florida. It is Sunday, November 25th or November 12th if you're following the old style calendar. The 26th Sunday after Pentecost, Tone 1. We're broadcasting live on Facebook, you now, and YouTube. Your comments are welcome. Prayer requests are accepted. I am an Orthodox Old Catholic priest here in Lakeland, Florida, planting St. Andrew, the first called Orthodox Old Catholic Church. And um, God, God's good. So, um, links can be found to the prayer cast. You can go find me on you now, Facebook, the Facebook page, the uh, Facebook prayer group, the Friar Wade events. YouTube, the blog, and on Patreon. Let's begin. Blessed is our God, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bendito se nuestro Dios perpetuamente ahora y siempre por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. O Lord, open my mouth to bless your holy name. Cleanse also my heart from all vain, evil, and wandering thoughts. Enlighten my understanding, kindle my affections, that I may say this office worthily with attention and devotion. So be able to be heard in the presence of your divine majesty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of me, there is no help for me in God. 
But you, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep, and I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God, for you strike all of my enemies on the teeth. You break the cheek, you break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. And the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him that is thirsty come, and whosoever will, let him take of the water of life freely. He who believes on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly will flow rivers of living water. Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto you. Ah, glory to Jesus Christ. I'm going to check over on you now, you now, you now, to see if we are broadcasting wonderfully over there, which I hope we are. Um, but just in case we're not, I'm going to click on the old uh, banner link here and see if we're broadcasting there good. Check with those that are on Be Live as well, see how they're doing. And um, again, if you're just signing in, let us know. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And you now, we're going to go live. Just make sure that our links are working. Glory to Jesus Christ. I believe everything is copacetic, but uh, I like to double check and make sure. Ah, oh, praise the Lord. God is good all the time. God is good all the time. Don't you think so? I do. <laughs> okay. Oops. I clicked the wrong button. That's not the one that I wanted. That happens. When that happens, we have to do it again. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's happening over here. Praise the Lord. Glory to Jesus Christ. I just clicked a like. Aren't you aren't you glad to be alive this morning? Rather be here than the best mortuary in town. Um yeah, I would. Yes, all right. We're getting ready to broadcast live on uh, you now. I don't think that we are, so we're we're about to do that to go live. And if if we if I've messed it up, I've messed it up. But uh, that's it's uh, what we've done. Now I think we're good. Had a little take a little side direction there, but uh, it says we're working fine now. And God is good. All right, just typing in a couple of things in the comments over there. Let them know that we're we're broadcasting live. That's right. Okay, good. We're ready to go back. Back. We're back again. All righty then. God is the Lord and has revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good, and His mercies endures forever. Mercy endures forever. God is the Lord and has revealed Himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. God is the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I defended myself against them. And this came about from the Lord. It is wonderful and marvelous in our eyes. Come quickly, Lord Jesus, Maranatha. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. 
Uh, thank you for joining me today for morning prayers. Wanted to let you know that prayer requests are accepted. And um, hello, Vader, how you doing? Good morning to you. God bless you. Thanks for stopping by for a few minutes. This is the day the Lord has made. Thanks for joining in with us for prayer. It is morning prayer time. <laughs> oh, let's pray the Trisagion prayers together, shall we? Gloria a ti, nuestro Dios, gloria a ti. O heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, you are everywhere present, filling all things. Treasure of blessing and giver of life, come and abide with us, in us. Cleanse us from every stain of sin and save our souls. O good one, amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Santo Dios, Santo Fuerte, Santo Inmortal, Señor Tin Piedad de Nosotros. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. I give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O oh, all Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Señor Tin Piedad, Kyrie eleison. We give glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let's pray our Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Arising from sleep, I fall down before you, O good one, and I cry out to you, Almighty God, the angelic hymn. Holy, holy, holy are you, O God, through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now that you have raised me from my bed of sleep, O Lord, enlighten my mind and my heart, and open my lips, that I may praise you. O Holy Trinity, holy, holy, holy are you, O God. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Suddenly the judge shall come. The deeds and actions of everyone will be made known. Therefore in fear we cry out at midnight, holy, holy, holy are you, O God. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Señor tin piedad, Señor tin piedad, Señor tin piedad. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. God is good and his mercy endures forever. Having arisen from sleep, I thank you, O Holy Trinity, for in your great goodness and patience you've not been angry with me in my negligence and sinfulness, nor have you destroyed me in my transgressions, but in your customary compassion you've raised me up as I lay in despair that I may sing the glories of your majesty. Therefore, Lord, enlighten the eyes of my understanding. Open my heart to receive your words. Teach me your commandments and help me to do your will. Confessing you from my heart, singing and praising your all-holy name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Let's pray Psalm 50 or 51 together. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great goodness and according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly for my sin and cleanse me from my righteousness. Wash me thoroughly for my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my own transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you have I sinned and done that which is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin, and my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill me with joy and gladness, and let the bones which you have humbled rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all of my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. 
O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will show forth your praise, for you have no delight in sacrifice. Were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion and your good pleasure and rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Glory to Jesus Christ. If you're just joining in with us, my name is Father Wade, and I want to thank you for joining in with us for morning prayers. Here's a prayer before reading Holy Scripture. Shine within our hearts, loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our mind that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered all sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing those things that are pleasing unto you. For you, Christ our God, are the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory together with your Father, who is without beginning, your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, be attentive. The reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24. The women find the tomb empty. Now on the first day of the week, very early in the morning there, they and certain other women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then they went in and did not find the body of our Lord Jesus. As it happened, as they were greatly perplexed about this, that behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Then, as they were afraid and bowed their heads to the earth, they said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. Then they returned from the tomb and told all these things to the eleven and to the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told these things to the apostles. And their words seemed to them like idle tales, and they did not believe them. But Peter arose and ran into the tomb, and stooping down he saw the linen cloths lying by themselves, and he departed, marveling to himself what had happened. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And a reading from the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 23. But before faith came, we were kept under guard by the law, kept for the faith which could would afterward be revealed. Therefore the law was our tutor to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we are no longer under a tutor. For you are all sons of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, neither slave nor free, there is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is child, does not differ at all from a slave though he is master of all, but is under guardians and stewards until the time appointed by the Father. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive the adoptions as sons. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18. Wisdom, let us attend. Now a certain, rural, a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. You know the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not murder, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor your father and mother. And he said, all these things I have kept from my youth. So when Jesus heard these things, he said to him, you still lack one thing, sell all that you have and distribute to the poor, and you will find treasure in heaven and come and follow me. But when he heard this, he became very sorrowful for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he had become very sorrowful, he said, How hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. For it is easier for the camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. 
And those who heard it said, Who then can be saved? But he said to them, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 But he said these things. But he, but he said, These things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Let's confess our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker and creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and, vis and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, who by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. A morning prayer by Metropolitan Filaret of Moscow. O Lord, grant that I may greet this coming day in peace. Help me to rely on your holy will at every moment and every hour of the day. Reveal your will to me. Bless my time with all who surround me and teach me to treat that whatever may happen to me throughout the day with peace of soul and with the firm conviction that your will governs all. In all of my deeds and words, guide my thoughts and feelings. In unforeseen events, let me not forget that all is sent by you. Teach me to act firmly and wisely without embittering or embarrassing others. Give me the strength to bear the fatigue of this coming day with all that it will bring. Direct my will, teach me to pray, and pray yourself in me. Amen, amen. And the prayer of Saint Ephraim the Syrian. O Lord and Master of my life, take from me the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. But grant rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Yes, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions and not to judge my brother. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. The Lord is good and his mercy endures forever. Give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Hello friends, my name is Father Wade. Thank you for joining with me for morning prayers. And the scripture reading, which we just finished. So good to see you here this morning. Time now is at about 6.53 a.m. Florida time. And uh, we're broadcasting live for the St. Andrew Rectory. We're going to check our feeds to make sure that we're all feeding correctly. Looks like we are. Looks like things are good. Good morning. Thank you for watching us there on you now. Appreciate that. Ah, uh, good morning. Thank you for joining in with us for morning prayers. I do want to let you know that prayer requests are accepted. Yes, I'm a little nasally this morning. I, you probably noticed that. Let you know that prayer requests are accepted. Okay, let's continue on here with morning prayer. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance and grant victory to Christians over their adversaries. By the power of your cross, preserve your habitation. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. 
Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and on those in the tombs, bestowing life. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, who for the sake of your eternal mercy and loving kindness became man and suffered crucifixion and death for the salvation of all. You rose from the dead and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, where you hear the prayers of all who call upon you humbly and with their whole heart. Incline your ear to us and listen to the prayer which your servants offer as a spiritual sacrifice for all your people. Lord, remember, first of all, your holy Catholic and apostolic church, which you have purchased with your precious blood. Strengthen it, multiply it, keep it in peace, and do not allow the gates of hell to prevail against it. Prevent schisms among the churches and pacify the ragings of the pagans. Quickly destroy the uprisings of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Have mercy, Lord, upon, O Lord, upon the president, the congress, the judiciary, governors, those who make and administer our laws, the municipal authorities, those who protect and serve us, and those who serve in our armed forces and save them all. Give them peace and continual victory over unrighteousness and over evil in all places. May they be provide peace so that your holy church and all your people may live calm and ordered lives in your sight and true faith and prayer with godly deeds. Have mercy, O Lord, upon popes, patriarchs, metropolitans, archbishops, and bishops, priests, deacons, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, and the whole order of the clergy of your church. Save them whom you've established to feed the flock of your word, and by their holy prayers have mercy on us and save us. O Lord, have mercy on our spiritual fathers and mothers and save them, and by their holy prayers forgive us our transgressions. Have mercy, O Lord, upon our parents and save them together with our spouse, children, brothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends. Grant them your blessings both here and in the age to come. Have mercy, O Lord, upon the old and young, the needy, the orphans, the widows, all who are in sickness and sorrow, with distress and affliction, oppression and captivity, in prison and in confinement. Save them together with your servants who are under persecution for your sake and the sake of the faith. Remember them, visit them, strengthen and comfort them, and by your power grant them speedy relief, freedom, and deliverance. Have mercy, O Lord, upon all who travel and save them, those who are sent on duty, our brothers and sisters, and all Christians. Have mercy, O Lord, upon our enemies, those who envy us, those who wish us evil, deal unjustly with us. May they not perish because of us, sinners. Enlighten, O Lord, with the truth of your holy wisdom, all who have gone astray from the faith, led by destructive heresies and divergent philosophies. Unite them once more to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Amen. O Lord, remember those who have departed this life, all popes, patriarchs, metropolitans, archbishops, and all who have served in your priesthood and ministry of the church, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, and in the monastic order, and grant them rest with your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, we pray especially for uh, Abba Anthony this morning as he blessed reposed. Remember, O Lord, the souls of your servants now fallen asleep, our parents, family, and friends. Forgive them all their sins committed in knowledge or in ignorance. Grant them your kingdom, a portion in your eternal blessing, the enjoyment of your unending life. Remember, O Lord, all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection of eternal life, our brothers and sisters and Christians throughout the world. Place them with your saints before the light of your countenance. Have mercy on us, for you are a good God and a lover of mankind. Amen. O Heavenly Father, we humbly ask you to send your Holy Spirit to touch the hearts of the lives of the people in Lakeland, Florida, and wherever this broadcast is heard and seen. We ask you to encourage them to seek the living truth, your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and his Holy Church. We pray that their hearts may be turned away from the temptations of this world and the words of heretical teachers. We also pray for ourselves that our hearts would not be hardened to the gospel, but that we would be living lights as representatives of our Savior. We pray for the church in Lakeland, Florida, and around the world. May it be a true haven of rest, encouragement, and hope for all who call at home. And we pray that all who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in Lakeland, Florida, and around the world may be one, even as you and your Son and the Holy Spirit are one. Amen. It is truly right to bless you, O Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure in the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious and beyond compare than the seraphim in virginity you gave birth. To God the Word, true Theotokos, we magnify you. And we reserve all worship, praise, honor, and glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord of mercy, Kyrie eleison, Senor tin piedad, through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, brothers and sisters, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. 
I want to thank you for joining with me for morning prayers this morning on Sunday, November the 25th, 2018. This is Father Wade here broadcasting live from the St. Andrew Rectory in Lakeland, Florida. And I encourage you today, show yourself in the house of the Lord with Christians around the world. May the God of our Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you, guide you in all your ways, and bring you into his everlasting habitation. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for watching with us. Amen. We will see you, catch you, God willing, next time. Amen.